everyone and welcome back to 27 Fox Place. I start every day with a daily reset and today I just have to tidy up in the living room and make the bed. The dishwasher wasn't full enough to run the night before so I don't have any dishes to put away and I'm all caught up on laundry for a change so there's not a lot I need to do before I start my day. This is part six in my zone cleaning series, and if you missed any of my previous videos, be sure to check out the playlist in the description box. If you're new here, my name is Randy, and I make videos for cleaning and organizing motivation, and I post new videos every Friday, so if you like this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I've mentioned before that I've been trying to get in the habit of letting the bed breathe in the mornings and the problem with trying to form new habits is that the old habits are hard to replace and because it's so easy to fall back into old habits, forming new habits requires a little bit of persistence. <laughs> so even though I forget to pull back the covers half the time, every time I do remember, I'm one step closer to my goal. I spent most of the morning helping my husband run cable through the attic. The only ethernet outlet that we have is in the bedroom, so we thought it would be a good idea to add a second outlet in the hallway so that we can get the router out of the bedroom. And this cabinet will be the perfect place to keep all of the Wi-Fi equipment, but we had to move everything out of the way while we were working, and now there's a few tools that need to be put away and I just need to move everything back in place. And we still have some more work to do on this project, but at least the hard part is done. I'm working in the dining room this week and I try to start at the top of the room and work my way down. So I always like to start by removing the dust and the cobwebs from the walls. We most often focus on the horizontal surfaces when we're dusting, but even the vertical surfaces like the walls collect dust too. I'm just using a microfiber cloth and water to clean everything in this room and I usually carry a bucket of water so that I can rinse out the microfiber and I like to make my way around the room in one direction so that I'm not wasting my time and energy bouncing back and forth and I like to close the blinds because it's easier to clean the slats but to get both sides I clean one side at a time and once I finish cleaning one side I flip the blinds over so that I can clean the other side and once I finish cleaning the blinds I I move on and clean the window and I've learned to clean the blinds first so that I don't end up cleaning the window twice.
As you'll see in this video, there can be quite a bit of traffic through this back door and we have a robot vacuum that runs a few times a week to help keep the floors clean. And I empty out the collection tank every week, but since my husband was cleaning up outside, I gave him Rosie so he could clean out the filters and the collection tank. Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know Couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home because I have a regular cleaning schedule, I can easily wipe down most surfaces with just a few passes of the microfiber cloth. But this light switch is something that gets used all the time and I've been neglecting to clean it, so I had to spend a little more time getting it back in shape. And a toothbrush is a great tool to clean out tiny crevices like this light switch, but the paintbrush I use for dusting works just as well. I had to move this console table out of the way so I could clean the wall behind it, but it also made it easier to disconnect all the cords that were plugged in <laughs> so that I could clear off the console table. And I'm using Methods Wood Cleaner on this table, and I've been trying to decide if I should continue using a wood cleaner when a damp microfiber is an effective alternative. But natural materials like wood and leather and stone need special products to keep them in good condition, and Methods Daily Wood Cleaner should only be used on sealed wood surfaces so it's safe to use on this table. And I also like that it's a mild plant-based formula so I feel comfortable using it with a microfiber cloth. And it smells pretty amazing too. I usually like to save the floors for last, but since I had the table pulled away from the wall, I decided that it would be a good time to clean the floors before I moved it back. I forgot all about cleaning this lampshade and I almost always forget to clean something when I'm cleaning in a zone. And zone cleaning isn't about getting everything perfectly clean, it's about doing as much as you can in the time that you have to do it in. And my zone cleaning schedule isn't the same as the fly lady's but I do follow her time limit. She recommends spending 15 minutes a day in a zone every week and for the most part I prefer to clean a zone all at one time. But I still limit the time I spend cleaning it usually takes me about an hour in each zone, but because I have a regular cleaning schedule, it's not a problem if I miss something. I can take care of it the following week, or I can just leave it until the next time I'm in that zone. I finally broke down and got a dish strainer. <laughs> I wanted something that was collapsible and easy to store under the sink, and this one rolls up so it doesn't take up much space. But because one side of our sink is smaller than the other, it fits over the sink so I can free up more counter space. I 
I didn't make it halfway around the room before I needed to change the water in the bucket, and my goal is to spend the least amount of time cleaning in order to maintain a clean home, and I ended up with 8 zones because that's how many zones I needed to limit my maintenance cleaning to 1 hour a week. My cleaning schedule is loosely based on the Fly Lady, but it's more of a cross between the Fly Lady and Clean Mama. And if you're interested in starting a cleaning schedule but not sure where to start, these are two great resources, and the Fly Lady even has an app that can help get you started. This area gets the most foot traffic in the house. We are constantly in and out of the back door and the dogs shake when they go by. So the walls and the glass doors are always covered with more spots than anywhere else. Using the upholstery attachment on the vacuum is a good way to clean the mesh cover on the speakers, but a paintbrush is a little more convenient. I recently reorganized the office supplies that I keep in these cabinets, so if you missed that video, be sure to check out the link in the description box. But I'm so happy with how everything turned out, and I love the way it looks, but it's so much more functional than it was before. artificial flowers and any other materials that are either too hard to clean or just too tedious to clean outside and as you'll see I have an easier way to clean these types of items Weather any 
wash away the pain There's a new day to take away your sorrow And the old ways get washed out by the rain The dogs don't seem to like it when one of us leaves the house and my husband was in the front yard today while I was cleaning inside and the dogs kept running back and forth between the back gate and the front of the house trying to find him and bring him back where he belongs. Through the night, My husband usually helps me clean the outside of the windows and we usually wait until summer when there's very little chance of rain. <laughs> but even though it's unlikely that we're going to get any substantial rain this late in the year, we try to wait until after July because every time we clean the outside of the windows, a week later we almost always get enough rain to leave spots all over the glass. But I do clean the outside of this door on a weekly basis because with the amount of traffic that goes in and out of this back door, we I wouldn't be able to see through the glass if I didn't. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations. Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I don't like to use the vacuum on the lampshades But I can't take the shade off of this light So I have to use the poultry A poultry? The poultry? So I need to use the upholstery attachment to vacuum the dust out of the fabric. And the crystals on this light are another thing that I forgot to clean today, but I can get that next week when I clean the kitchen, or I can just wait until the next time I clean in this sound. But either way, it's not going to make a huge difference. My lesson, cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet I made my way around the entire room and took my gloves off and then realized I had a bit more to do. <laughs> I needed to clean the table and the bar stools before I could move on to the floors and I had a few things that I left outside to clean. And I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you glue 
the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever Free, I'm a sweet baby I'm moving the bar stools out of the way as I clean them so that I can wash the floor in this area and I won't need to walk on this part of the floor but it'll give me time to finish up outside while I'm waiting for the floor to dry and that way I can move the bar stools back when I vacuum. I like to use the leaf blower for soft fabrics like lampshades and the artificial flowers and it does a good job on things that are difficult to clean with a vacuum or a brush and if you watch closely you'll be able to see the plume of dust that came out of this light. I use the hose to rinse off the artificial plants that are too large to fit in the sink and I try to rinse off the leaves without saturating the baskets that they're in and for the baskets I dust them off with a paintbrush or vacuum them with the upholstery attachment. It just depends on what I have within my reach at the time. I'm not exactly sure what type of material this table runner is made out of, but I try not to oversaturate it with water. Mostly, I spot clean it whenever I need to, but once in a while, I'll rinse it out with water and hang it up to dry. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm.
These cabinets are difficult to move, so I don't move them every time I clean in this zone, but the robot vacuum fits under all of the furniture in this room, and I'm able to get the handheld vacuum under all of the furniture as well. But once or twice a year, I still move everything in this room so that I can clean behind the furniture. And of course, the last thing on my list today is cleaning the floors. And I spray stone cleaner directly onto the tiles instead of adding the cleaner to the water tank on the machine. That way I can use the clean water in the machine to rinse the floors clean. surprise some of you that I was not always this clean and organized. <laughs> I've mostly learned through trial and error over the years, and I used to be opposed to cleaning routines. The thought of having to do something that I didn't want to do when I didn't want to do it sounded like a job I wasn't getting paid for. <laughs> but we do get paid for our efforts, it's just not in a currency that we can spend at the store. And we all have our routines, it's just that some routines are more productive than others. So let me know in the comments how you feel about cleaning routines. Is it something you've tried? But that's all for today. I hope this sewn cleaning series helps with your own cleaning routines. And of course, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications before you go. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today and I hope to see you next time. Oh,